PSA to everyone out there. I'm speaking for myself, but I'm probably speaking for a large majority of other officers out there. If we're driving on the freeway in our police car, get the f out of the way. Get the f out of the way. If us officers stay behind you long enough, we can find a reason to pull you over. So you might as well get the f out of the way. Bro, she really just said that on camera. Yo, welcome back to another episode of the Ruling Class Podcast, and of course, I'm your host, Didi, back up in this witch with another video, and yo, I got two goals. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by October, and my second goal is to drink some of this water, and I need your help to do it, and the way you can help me is to like, subscribe, share this video, and comment on this video, but don't worry, I'm going to give you a sec to do that. All right, let's get into the video. PSA to everyone out there. I'm speaking for myself, but I'm probably speaking for a large majority of other officers out there. If we're driving on the freeway in our police car, get the f out of the way. Get the f out of the way. If you merge and we follow behind you and we merge too, you're probably in trouble. The best way to find that out is get the f out of the way. I can go 90 miles an hour. You can't. You can't do that. So get the f out of the way. If us officers stay behind you long enough, we can find a reason to pull you over. So you might as well get the f out of the way. Super simple. That's all. You're welcome. Wow. Wow. I knew it. 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 I'm, I'm just I'm trying to get my thoughts together here. So first of all, thank you. To this police officer, thank you. I, I'm shocked and happy. All I'm feeling a, a, a range of different emotions here. I'm happy that she got on camera and said what a lot of us already suspected. There's a lot of YouTube channels out there and different things that you see in the media where you will go to that source and they're always so one-sided. You will never see that here. I call a spade a spade here and I call things like they are. The, regardless of somebody's sex, regardless of somebody's race, regardless of somebody's position, I try to call things the way I see it. Go to some of these channels and you either got somebody who's just bashing all police officers or you go to a channel where somebody's just like commending all police officers. They're, they're posting only when cops do good or they're posting when cops is doing something that's questionable and justifying why what they did may have been right or may have been warranted. You won't get that here. I'm going to try to be fair. And so like this, I'm going to call it for what it is. But you may see another video down the line where police officers do the right thing, which leads me into my point. This right here shows me if it doesn't show me anything else that police officers are human. You say, well, of course they're human. No, no, no. That's important to state because if you let a lot of people in the media tell you police officers don't mess up, police officers don't do what a lot of people accuse police officers are doing. So by stating and acknowledging and understanding that police officers are human, it's not just that they can make mistakes. It's also be, means that they can have a bad day. It means that they can have biases. It means that they can have, they can be prejudiced, means that they can be racist, means they can be sexist, means that they can have agendas. And according to the National Law Enforcement Memorial Museum, there are more than 800,000 police officers in America today, which is the highest it's ever been with about, I believe, like 12% being women. And you mean to tell me out of 800, more than 800,000 people, human beings, we are expected to believe that this isn't a more common, this behavior isn't a lot more common than what we're led to believe? We're expected, you, you expect for us to believe that this condescending nature does not bleed over into other actions like tickets, statements, Honesty and transparency coming from our police officers. What I, I mean, even if you just said 5,000, that's 5,000 too many of police officers who have this nature, this mindset of looking at everyday citizens as if they are beneath them simply because they're police officers. They can have mental disorders. It means they can have their own personal, you know, reasons why they do certain things just like any other human being in any other position 
in this world. We all understand that. And this right here is a prime example of exactly what I mean. The fact that this woman got on camera and said out loud, get out of my way, just shows the level of entitlement. Shows, and, and she said herself in the video that she's speaking to a lot of other, she's speaking for a lot of other officers, which means this is something that's talked about. This is a very common, commonly shared experience or very commonly shared notion that when they're on the road, they want people to get away. This also goes to show the, the the sense of power that being a police that comes with being a police officer, which is another problem that I have. We give certain people certain amount of power in these positions. And it's like, yo, so a police officer can pull me over and just say whatever they want. I made a request to see the body cam footage. And I was it was suggested to be by the lawyer in the courtroom that day that I wasn't going to get very far with it. I was young at the time too. So I just went with it. I paid the ticket and it was over with. But I know a lot of people in a lot of cases would say that they weren't t speeding or weren't doing what the officer said. But no, I legit was not speeding. The officer said I was doing 15 over and I wasn't. So it blew my mind that there was like, there's no way to verify what this cop did. The cops are not obligated to show proof that a person did X, Y, and Z. So this right here, when I see a video like this, it, it this is what it reminds me of. The level of entitlement, the level of, not even to just say it, but to record it. And for those of you who don't know, apparently the video goes viral. It gets taken down off TikTok. But by that point in time, people had screen recorded the video and had already posted it to other outlets, right? She received discipline. Do you want to know what her discipline was? She was suspended for 10 hours. Not 10 days, not 10 months, not fired. She was suspended for 10 hours, which is equivalent, according to the precinct that she works at, is equivalent to one shift. She got suspended for one shift. They said they were going to investigate what it is that she did wrong and see if she violated any policies. Bro, what are you talking about? Did you watch the video? She was telling people to get the elf out of the way. The, the, this is a police officer. This is who policing us. Now, let me just say this for what it is. This is why I started off by saying you will never see me being one sided. I am not on that train to to get rid of the police. Right. When people hear defund the police and get rid of the police, they always kind of like put those two things together. But they're not necessarily the same as a lot of you out there may already understand. I'm not on the get rid of the police train. I think anybody who said it is crazy or don't really mean it. And if they do mean it, they haven't really thought about what the heck they're saying. I love police officers. I love the idea of having police. I think there are a lot of great police officers out there. But police officers like this has to be dealt with. You have to get a person like that out of the uniform because the condescending nature, the arrogance that she just displayed in this video. Imagine what she's like off camera. Are you kidding me? There has to be some level of consequence and discipline that comes with certain behaviors and we have seen time and time again in this country that police officers can do certain things and they get away with it simply because they're a police officer and they have to and this just goes to show the problems in the the loopholes and the issues that we have within our legal system that that needs to be dealt with there needs to be policies other policies additional policies put in place so that when things like this come out you understand as a police officer that posting something like that is going to be very, very, very bad and come with bad consequences. She felt that she could do this because she knew that nothing was going to happen. And essentially nothing did. What is a 10 hour, what is a 10 hour suspension? What is that? That's laughable. Wow. That's mind blowing. Mind blowing. <laughs> Crazy. Man, like, share, and subscribe, yo. Until next time, I'm out. Peace. Oh yeah, Diddy got a podcast.